Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you a new door trick I found. Technically, it's two different tricks, though they are quite similar to one another. A quick disclaimer, this isn't going to guarantee you win all your gunfights at doors, but I've never seen this used before, so you'll probably confuse people. I sure did when doing this. But anyways, let's get into the guide. So the first thing you guys need to know is that doors actually have two different speed penalties when you kick them. The first time that you punch a door and crack it, you get a minor speed penalty, but once once you punch that same door again and completely break it, you get a much greater penalty and you can't move at all. So when you break a door and try to walk away from it, you cannot move at all and you get stuck in the doorway. Now when you're merely cracking a door instead of breaking it, you do not get the same penalty. As you can see, I'm pretty much able to instantly walk backwards when cracking the door. However, you are only able to move backwards. Moving side to side after doing this has a significant penalty, so you're still pretty likely to get shot when trying to move away from a door after punching it. This leads us to the first trick. So the first trick only applies to when you're cracking a door. Although the speed penalty for cracking a door isn't that high, it still exists, and you're likely to take a lot of damage if you punch a door and try to walk away from it. So anyways, there's a trick to get rid of this stun where you're like stuck in the doorway, and that's simply by jumping. That's literally it. All you do is jump after punching the door. Now this seems so simple, and it's kind of surprising that no one's ever done this before. But yeah, it's literally that simple. You jump after punching the door. And because you're jumping, you can tap strafe after doing this in any direction. So you can tap strafe to the side of the door to break line of sight. So I'll show you guys the difference between the two things. So this is the regular walk away from the door after kicking it. And here's jumping and it's significantly faster. Just note that this does not work if you break the door down. So that's the takeaway. It only works if you crack the door, not break it. Alright guys, so the second trick also involves punching a door, but it's slightly different. So if you guys didn't know, punch boosting still exists in Apex to some degree. If you simply hold a side input, punch the wall, and hit crouch right when the punch connects with the wall, you can get boosted backwards. Another thing you guys probably didn't know is that you can punch a door without breaking it. You do this simply by initiating the punch when not looking at the door, and then turning towards the door so the punch connects to the door. So the second trick in this video pretty much combines Combines these two things the punch boost and the uh, fake door punch so when would you actually use this well let me break it down for you imagine you and an enemy wraith are on opposing sides of the door wraith is one shot and the door is one punch away from being destroyed the wraith's gonna expect you to punch the door and then she's going to one clip you but instead you do this really stupid convoluted door trick that might possibly just throw you out in the open or it could just confuse her and you win